Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead Dusk's Tale. We find ourselves early in the morning on the road. After having taken care of some turrets, we have found a pretty nice truck. It's not bad, it's okay, but we are wanting to continue on down along this road with Dusk just for a bit of light exploration to see where exactly this is going to go. Now, Chung and Lady Sis, we are going to be... What the hell? <gasps> Do the towns have names? I just updated. <laughs> oh my god, they have names! That's so cool! <laughs> wow, okay, live reaction with Rykon to his reaction of uh, of the, the towns now having names. That's amazing! It's called Carthage. It's a road in central Carthage. So the, the greater area is Mount Auburn, but this is the town of Carthage. Oh, this is so cool. I love that. That is such a neat change. And then we got Orrington over that way there. Um, let's see. I know we have another town that's down to the south of us. I will get back to the other point I was going to make us in, in, a, in a second. I just want to check this out. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other names? Yeah, Edgar Town. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. That is such a... It's like a... It's a small, but it's an awesome detail that I just think is fantastic. That is so cool. I'm very, very happy with that. Right, okay, so jumping back into the real world, back into the game. Um, we still have our friends with us. We still have one of us, is Charlotte, is back at the mansion. But these two, I was having an issue where the game was just taking so long to kind of tick through stages. Um, now, a number of you did inform me as to what that is, and I'm very thankful that you did. Um, it's the auto pickup. For some reason, the NPCs having an auto pickup means that they're constantly searching for their item to see if it's around, and it just takes up more of the, in, I guess, the internal processing of the game. Um, obviously, I should be able to process these things perfectly fine, but just for the game to run uh, well, it can't, unfortunately. So we are going to be turning that off, which is unfortunate. It does mean that we'll just pick up the arrows and we'll give them back to Chung occasionally, I think is what we're going to be doing there. So when we get back to them, we will we'll be sure to tell them that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reload our magazine here. And we're going to store this other magazine in our inventory. We'll just take a second just reloading these magazines that we've got. So let's just go ahead and reload them because it's going to be good to have them in case we run into trouble again in the future. Okay, nice. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start making our ways back. I don't think there's anything here specifically that I'm after, specifically that we want. Um, we just know that the area is safe now, that we can pass through, and so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, the Graken sure shouldn't cause us any trouble. Um, I'm liking the mini-map now. The mini-map we're actually seeing that it's night, which is uh, a nice change. The mini-map actually is looking pretty nice. So let's go ahead, we're gonna talk to these two here. Um, Lady Sis, I don't think we're asking her anything. Oh, we definitely can't talk. Let's turn our ears back on. Um, <laughs> because that's something that we say in this game. We turn our ears on. So now our ears are back on. We deactivate our sound ampers. The, 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 the enhanced hearing will turn on. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. So we've got enhanced hearing now. Alright, let's try and talk to the others. I imagine we were just shouting at Lady Sis and she was just like... Like, oh, okay, yes. I need you to come with me. Thank you very much, Lady Sis. And let's see. We're going to go to the miscellaneous rules, and we want to change her pickup rules. And we want to turn this... Oh, hang on. Uh, no, not, that's not what I want to do. We actually want to go uh, set pickup items. Okay, right. Okay, so she's still on. She won't pick up items, so that's good. That she, she is fine as she is. Okay, let's just go. Let's go. Chung, we want you to come with us, and we want to go to miscellaneous rules and don't pick up items. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going to kill the game otherwise, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead. We're going to chuck the Barrett back in the back, back in the back, back in the back, and that'll be that. So let's go ahead and reload this quiver of ours, activate quiver, store ammunition in there, wham bam. And we are wearing our reflex blow at the moment. We just need to remember that. We're hungry, we're thirsty, so let's just have some blueberries, because we can. And maybe consider having some of that. Yeah, nice. We're still thirsty, though, so we'll deal with it. And we'll... That's not your seat. What are you doing? 
There we go, lady sis. That's better. Okay, so we're going to be jumping back on the road, continuing down, and uh, we're not going to go too far. I say that, but we're probably going to go almost all the way to Egerton. Um, Edgar, Edgar Town, because it's not Egerton, it'll be Edgar Town. Um, we're going to be traveling pretty fast because I want to try and get there at a, at a decent pace. Um, oh, let's actually start driving first, that's a good idea. Um, and are we going to turn on the headlights? Mm, I'm in two minds about that. We can actually see pretty well right now, so I'm probably not going to. Let's avoid him if we can. The wind is very strong apparently, so... Um, that's unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? There are, there's meat there uh, that we could grab from the coyotes, but we're probably going to pass it up. You know what, we are going to turn on the headlights just because it will be good to have that little bit further that we can see. So let's just hit comma, and we want to go to control vehicle and turn on our headlights, like so. Um, and it is just headlight, it's just a singular headlight, unfortunately. Um, we've got another military crash site here, so let's just mark that on the map, um, crash site because, uh, well, it's worth us actually coming back to it. It's worth, it, worth us having a look at. Um, there's nothing that I can see immediately there that catches my attention that makes me want to stop, but uh, what are those? What are those? Is it a light? F it's clay. Ooh. Um, okay. Hmm. Half tempted to collect some of that clay. It might be that I just mark the spot here. Um, clay spot because we do want to make some bricks eventually well maybe like I, I know last episode I was talking about you know the mansion just being too large for us to but then I, I, yeah I don't know I'm in two minds I, I most certainly am I mean I love our mansion don't get me wrong I love our mansion but uh, yeah just having thoughts you know just having just having thoughts we're gonna slow down here because I do want to stop and see what's going on with this vehicle so we're just going to uh, jump on out, head on over. That looks like a security camera. Looks like a number of security cameras, actually. Um, can we get into the front? No, no, we can't. But I'm guessing. Okay, interesting. We spotted a giant frog. That's cool and all. Um, control vehicle. Uh, no, let's just have a look at the vehicle. See exactly what it is. With what it is here. It's an armored personnel character. Ca character? No, carrier. God damn. Um, let's see. It, it can actually move, but uh, it's lacking It's lacking um, a fuel tank by the looks of things, or any kind of fuel. There is there is ammunition in here, though. There's 50 cal rounds in here, so let's make sure that we actually steal those from where, wherever they are. It's probably in the gun itself, and the gun was here, so unload. Yeah, there we go. And, oh, we just got the whole ammo belt, and it's full. Holy crap. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um... Are we going to take anything off this vehicle? Mm, maybe if it doesn't take us too long. Oh, the sun is up. Yeah, it, it's really up. Okay, let's uh, grab our telescoping umbrella. Get ourselves nice and covered. We're seeing some giant flies, mosquitoes, etc. Yeah. Oh, hi there, giant wasp. Mm, yeah. All right, well, we'll chill over here for now. It's not paying any mind to us so we'll hope it stays that way and we'll just have a look um how long will it take us to take off one of the cameras security camera let's go ahead and go remove and security camera it's going to take 18 minutes for us to do that that's not too long and sure enough look at that everything went fast so that's good we'll go ahead and take that um 18 minutes i think is worth us spending to do this i'm almost half tempted to take the browning as well maybe just maybe. Uh, that security camera is damaged, so I'm almost not wanting it. Uh, not repair. We want to go remove. 18 minutes. Great. That's that done. Uh, do I want the final camera? We could, like, repair it. Uh, how long would it take us to repair? 40 minutes. And it takes stuff. Nah. We're going to leave it behind. I think two cameras is cool. We'll take that and we'll dump it. It is daytime now, so I need to be careful on the roads because we can run into some pretty serious trouble. Um, there we go. That's what we're after. The casings we're going to drop in there. And what else? The security camera lights. Vehicle parts. Security camera, not lights. But actually, speaking of that, though, maybe I do want to consider grabbing some reinforced headlights if they have them. And they don't. Oh. What? 
Reinforced headlight. And they're both really damaged. <laughs> um, yeah, I might not worry about it then. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a bad vehicle. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad vehicle. We're probably going to mark it over here. And we're going to say armoured... APC. It's an armoured personnel character. Car carrier, not character. God damn it, it's not a character. We're not going to give it a name. <laughs> Alright, let's jump in. We are going to get driving, and I'm going to try and drive fast, because this wasp concerns me. Yeah. And I don't exactly want them firing or trying to slash out through the vehicle. Not right now. Okay, we're just moving along. Nice and easy. And we should be able to see a lot more today, which is great. So we're going to be unveiling even more of the map, and that we are. We can see that we're making, you know, pretty decent pace. So we're going to start... Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. Okay, this is why we come exploring, for things like this. If they're intact, I'm going to take a whole heap of them. Um, if they are damaged, we might only take a few. <laughs> uh, let's see, what are the conditions like here? Upgraded solar panels, look at them all! There's, there's a lot of them. There, yeah. Can we, can we remove them? Is the next question. Why did I go out? Okay, let's have a look, let's see, remove. Yes we can, 24 minutes, it's worth it. We're going to be spending a bit of time here doing this. Uh, so let's go ahead. We are just going to keep on removing these frames because, uh, frames, these upgraded solar panels, because, uh, they're strong, and oh yeah, they are good. Taking this sucker apart. Uh, we aren't going to take the damaged ones, though, just because there are so many of them here. There we go, there's another. Good way to spend the day, you know? With your friends, chilling up by a solar car, just taking the panels off the roof. What could be better? Alright, we could take these frames, um, how long? 18 minutes, nah, I mean we can make them quick enough back at home, so we're not going to concern ourselves with that, but we will try and take these back with us, uh, let's just go ahead and activate our, uh, folding engine crane? No? We don't have it with us. How did that happen? Or did I just drop it off? Perhaps I just dropped it off. Or perhaps I didn't. It might be in one of the seats. I forget these things because there's a bit of time in between, you know, episodes. Uh, nope. Let's see if she wants to get off the seat. I don't think she does. Lady says, come on, there we go. Halligan Bar. No, okay, so it's not here. Um, we'll just walk them over there. It's perfectly fine. So we're going to go like so and just move them up. And same again. All right, we'll just drop them in this one here. That is fine. Not all surrounding, we actually just want to go those. Perfect, great, done, it's in. All right, jump back into the car and we'll get, oh, actually, hang on. <laughs> one last thought, the storage batteries here. Uh, this might have some pretty decent ones. It's got an electric motor and there is a storage battery in there, but it's pretty damaged. Maybe it's only got the one, although, one of these batteries is, is at 99%, it's fully charged, so question is, where? Because surely a damaged storage battery like that wouldn't be able to hold that much charge. But it, it seems like it is. Okay, yeah it is, that's weird. Um, okay, no, we're not going to take it, that is really damaged, it's going to take quite a bit to uh, repair, so no, we're not going to worry about it, we are going to carry on on our little road trip. We have spotted another car along the way, but it is just a regular old car. We're not going to worry. Uh, let's have a sneaky drink while we're driving. Ooh, it was sneaky. The giant crayfish dies. Okay. Right. Nope. Step the speed. Still not going super quick. And that looks like that must be clay as well, right? Although there's other clay down there as well. No, that's sand. Ah. Okay. Nice. Well, I'm surprised we haven't seen more sand. There are probably going to be specific areas that we go into where we see a lot of it. Um, please tell me those are webs. Yes, they are. Okay, good. I'll take webs over fungal things any day. Although, with us being more plant-like, who knows? We might get along. I doubt that we would. And I am seeing a lot more clay down here. And we're seeing Amigo. <laughs> Alright, the Amigo yells out call the police but uh no we're not going to stop we're not going to stop for the migo we're not going to fall for the migo's tricks what is that that we're seeing there motorbike battery not what we're after oh why did we stop this thing was full of uh full of petrol why did we stop 
Oh, because I was pressing down on the speed. <sighs> oh, damn. Oh, let's actually just have a look, just to be sure. Oh, yeah, we got we got everything. We got energy, we've got fuel, we've got everything you'd want it for a, a road trip of this kind. And, uh, wow, we, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, we're traveling. I'm actually going to really step up the speed here because I want uh, I want Dusk to get a chance to improve her driving skill. And this is a chance for her to show her friends that she can drive fast and not get them killed. At least that's the idea. We'll see if that actually uh, pans out that way. We are still wanting to try and keep our eye on the minimap though because if we see, you know, a roadblock, we need to stop immediately. Handbrake turn and all. Uh, because it can go very, very bad very, very quickly. Is there anything interesting here? I think I'm seeing a roll mat, but that's about it. Hydration pack is kind of cool. Um, we're actually probably going to lose that hydration pack that we've got, though, because that is creating a fair amount of uh, of extra encumbrance for us that we don't need. Oh, hello. Are you, you're a tank. Okay, abandoned tank. We'll have a look. It could be in working condition, because that, that's the thing. It's like, obviously, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That handbrake turn, though. Freaking Tokyo Drift over here. All right, good job, Dusk. Good job. She's showing off like a pro. Let's come and see what we have here. Um, checking that. Two pairs of earplugs. Okay, pri th these are these are heat rounds, right? The incendiary rounds. Yeah, against unarmored vehicles to suppress infantry. Nice. Small electric primer. Okay, that's cool. I'll take it. I don't know what everything is, but we'll take them. Um, unload ATGM anti-tank guided missiles. <laughs> what? Examine vehicle. What are you rocking on here? There's a 30 mil chain gun. 30 millimeter chain gun. <clears throat> Apparently, we can fire anti-tank missiles with this thing. Where's the main gun set? Yeah, I can see the others, but... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you're enjoying yourself there, buddy. Let's swap positions with him. Let's unload this. Uh, we got the whole ammo, the whole ammo belt, and we fit that into our inventory just fine, so that's nice. Uh, let's see what we have over here. Nice. Okay, even more ammunition. And sorry, buddy, we're going to move positions with you again. And we're going to unload this as well. Okay, fantastic. I think we were actually able to grab everything there. Yeah, that's a lot of ammunition. Thank you, tank. Thank you very much. Uh, this is why some people think that the tanks, obviously, you know, to a degree, they can be unbalanced. Um, because obviously, that's a lot of ammunition we just found there. And some very, very high-powered rounds. I mean, these weapons on here, you know, they're, they're, they're decent. Oh, they're a... ATGM turret. I mean, like, if we can take that off, I mean, surely we can try. ATGM turret. Where was it? It was on this side, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's damaged, but let's see. Remove. 30 minutes. Worth it. Do it. Okay, we took it. Fantastic. Do we want the chain gun, or do we want the... How long will it take to take the chain gun off? 30 minutes as well. I think we're not going to be greedy. We'll just take the <laughs> vehicular... ATGM launcher with us store our umbrella away and uh, just go ahead and drop that into here apparently it was rather heavy and I'm not surprised I don't know if we want to mount that onto Bogart <laughs> um, yeah but good to know that we have it because uh, we might need it I don't think we'll need it today but uh, you know there's always a chance okay all right we're driving off with speed and focus all right, we're heading further into the interior, and uh, let's make sure that we actually do zoom out here, because I need to have a decent perspective for driving through all of this mess. And am I hitting? Okay, so I think what's happening is that when I'm when I'm going diagonal, I'm actually yeah, I'm knocking down the speed. That's what's happening here. Okay, so I can't do that. Uh, that's what was happening. I was just trying to use diagonal to quickly change things around. We've got a cop car here, an interceptor, but we'll just drive on by. Nothing interesting inside, and I think I saw another... Yeah, there's there's definitely a Migo back there amongst all the turkeys and other bits and pieces. But it's not taking our interest today. Our interest is the road. Okay, but we do have some bodies down there, so we will have a quick look as we're driving on by to see what might be on those bodies. Nothing super great. 
and occasionally we do want to be checking out the map as well just to see if there are any other points of interest that we can see when we're driving past not seeing anything that's cool there is a crash site here so we'll go ahead and mark that we know at the very least that the crash sites are a really good source of metal just scrap metal in general um, and we're seeing a lot of them so far so if we ever do want to come and harvest those I, I would never make you watch us harvesting all of that but uh, it's a decent amount of metal that we could get very very easily without a lot of trouble I'm doing it again I've never done that before I don't know why I've started doing it now trying to hit diagonal to uh, to move you really are just using left and right to turn the steering wheel and there's no faster or different way to do that it looks like the blueberry bushes are actually in bloom around here bloom is that they're not in bloom uh what's the word i'm looking for it's like bloom but i guess for when they're growing fruit <laughs> whatever that is i'm not a botanist and we've got another migo god damn there's a lot of them out here many have escaped the lads all come through other portals and we're being chased by a zombie we do not want to deal with that so we'll just keep on rolling although i think we'd be capable of taking care of it though all right speeding things up a little bit here and it looks like that is another tank and uh i almost don't want to stop and have a look and see what's inside because uh it could just be too much ammunition i know that sounds crazy saying too much ammunition but you know what the hell they're in they're in the game well it is a mod they are in the game so we're going to take advantage we're going to go see what we can find inside and it makes sense you know tanks exist in real life um a lot of them may have been abandoned for one reason or another earplugs not surprised what do we have we have more heat rounds and frags okay we'll take the primers as well okay yeah i think we'll probably just go with that i think that's actually fine some more 50 cal rounds but we're actually doing okay on that i mean obviously you can always have more but um i don't want to overdo it here you know what we're gonna go back for the 50 cal rounds <laughs> i feel like i'll regret it otherwise so we'll do it uh you may have noticed before we were saying oh hello hi hmm okay all right i'm not gonna be able to get my bar out in time so we're just gonna attack you or let you come close to me at least let's see if we can use our vines here at all uh we aren't doing much there but we do manage to axe kick the dog and then uh sink our fangs in and finish him off so that's good we didn't even need to use the vines there all right dropping that in there let's get moving uh trying to remember what i was going to say about the vehicles but i've forgotten it probably wasn't important then at least i don't think so if it comes back to me, we'll let you know. It's been a... Oh, okay, yes, now I remember. And we've got another crash site, so we're going to mark this one as well. We do need to go around this one, though. Um, it was about the animals. You'll notice that the animals are more often than not infected now. We're not finding very many that aren't infected. Um, so, yeah. We're going to be running into more and more that are not normal. So your food sources eventually over time, like meat and the rest, they are less common to find. Okay, so we've got a crash site. I really should be color coding these just to make it easier on myself. Um, so looking at them from a distance. So from now on, all yellow notes are crash sites. Okay, we're going to, we're going to go with that. Um, but I was just noticing here that this is saying road north from Town, which is kind of cool. Because like, I wonder if we can see what these ones are called. Ah, northwest of Town. And this is the... Ah, okay. Yeah, evac shelter northwest from Town. Okay, nice. Thanks. Let's see if we can kind of thread the needle a little bit here. We are hearing a zombie, and he is coming for us with speed and force, but we're faster. We're going to outrun you, son. Don't even try. Okay. All right. Up to 96 now. Uh, what is our top speed? Top safe speed. Top speed is 300, safe speed is 115. So we could take it right up to 112, but that is quite fast that we're traveling now. And what is that? Truck alternator, okay. Yeah, we're gonna knock it back to 96, which is still quick, especially for Cataclysm. I'm surprised we haven't seen any cabins or anything like that yet. I was kind of hoping we'd run into something on our way through here, but uh, nothing yet. Another crash site. I almost don't want to mark it. But we're going to. <laughs> we're going to. Just because I will know then. In the future. Okay. 
So I'm assuming that some pretty big fights went down around this area. And th that looks like an apricot tree. And that is uh, it's also ready for harvest. Oh, it's a peach tree. Hey, nice. And there's some really big packs of dogs. And I was just talking about some of the animals, um, you know, still being uninfected. Or rather, m the majority of them being infected. And obviously the dogs, they seem to be doing okay. Uh, but that... That is interesting. I wonder if that is like the the kind of raider one that we saw, but it seems to be in actually it seems to be in really good condition. So it might be like the one that we saw in town. What is it? Bandit bulldozer. Yeah, it's actually in really good condition. Most damage is the frame, but everything else seems to be okay. It's got a freaking manual flamethrower on the top of it. The spiked rams and the rest up the top is you know, that's quite cool. The treads as well. That's very very cool. Uh, so I think we're going to mark this, and we're going to mark this with a, oh, what do we want to go for? A brown? A brown for vehicles that we find? Yeah, so let's see, we want to go BR, and then that, and then Bandit Bull Dozer. Did it work? We'll see when we drive away. Oh yes it did, I can see on the mini, the mini map now. There we go, I was about to drop a beat. Okay. This has been an episode of uh, driving. It's just been a big old road trip for us. And sometimes I enjoy times like that, where it's just exploration. You're not doing anything too crazy, too wild. And hey, we're seeing something here. Is it just a rest stop, though? No, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a road stop, yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. Ooh. Mm hmm. Do we want to stop and try and take care of them? Yeah, we do. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Lady sis, you did some good work there. Let's drive out of this if we can. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Get back in your seat. Oh, buddy, that was not good. Yeah, I know you guys feel sick. We're trying to get you away from the gas. Just chill. Just chill. We'll, we'll stop, don't worry. We'll stop for reals this time. Lady Sis managed to take care of one of them there, but uh, Chung started to get a little overzealous and was trying to jump out of his seat, which probably wasn't the best move at the time. So we got our bow out. Let's see if we can take them out. Now, we don't need to do too much to really get them, but uh, we want to make sure that we're actually hitting our shots here, so... Here we go. Okay, heard a noise? No. Alright, it was just a graze. That's fine. Ooh, another graze. Oh, a miss. Here we go. All right. Where to show off dusk. <laughs> she got it done. All right, let's go collect those arrows. And we'll go and see what's going on down here. There's a hot plate, messenger bag, some shoes, a wrench, I think. Okay. Let's use that quiver. All right, so much better that things are actually just running at a regular speed now. Free duct tape, we will always take. And what are you? AA guide. And we've already read you, or there's nothing we can learn from you, so. We won't worry about picking you up then. Giant frog. Anything here in the bathrooms? Nope, nothing of interest. Swap positions. Check out the others really quick. Oh, hello. What, was that a giant frog? It was the giant frog. It isn't anymore. That was quick work, lady sis. Nice job. Okay. Hmm. Giant wolf spider. Let's not touch it. No, let's get back to the vehicle. Um, we could st we could get some food from... Yeah, we still got some meat soup. No, we're okay. I was going to say we can get some meat from the, the giant frog. But I honestly think we're going to be alright. Okay, so those handbrake turns have been pretty badass, but we've been sliding quite far, so yeah, I really need to pay attention to see if there are any roadblocks, because um, we've been lucky so far, there was only the one, and uh, yeah. Alright, we're nearly there. I think my goal was to kind of hit Edgar Town, and we're almost there. Edgar Town. Edgar Town. We're very nearly there. I think Dusk just wants to try and see if... Uh, well, how far this goes, whether it's affecting everyone or if it is just, um, Shade, well, not Shade Hill, not Shade Hill, Mount Auburn, or what's our town called now? Uh, Carthage. Carthage. Great. Okay. 
Alright, I'm going to be getting close, so I'm going to keep my eye out for trouble. Because there are usually roadblocks and landmines outside of towns. Because they were trying to... Yep, hey, look, there we go! I called it! Because uh, that's the military trying to stop the advancing hordes, which I guess they assumed in part some of them would be using the roads because the roads are kind of like the path of least resistance. Oh god, don't hit it. Oh, holy shit, how do we dodge that? Wow, we really need to fix the brakes on this. Not that we can, like, that, that's just how good they are. Um, let's grab the Heligan Bar, and wow, we can see how much longer it takes to save the map now because we've explored so much more. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay though, because the auto saves they don't happen that often. Uh, if they ever did start taking up a huge amount of time, I would obviously just uh, cut that out. Okay, no, let's see, where where was the Helen Bar? It was this one, right? There we go. It's gone over and open it up to heat packs. Uh, we'll take them. You know what? We will, because we'll gotta go ahead and activate the heat pack and heat up our. There we go. There. It's now hot fantastic okay uh drop the heligan bar back onto its spot tools heligan bar there we go no there we go better all right yeah some of these uh <laughs> some of these handbrake turns today have been interesting yeah all right we're flying down here now what have we got on the road it's a flyer what does the flyer say joe's diner okay all right we'll try and ascend if we can How close are we now? Uh, it's still a decent block. I'd be interested to see what this road is that leads off on the side. Could be a lab, could be a mansion. Oh, great. All right, let's slow right down. Okay, that's good. That was a pretty good stop. Uh, so there is a minefield right across the road here. Actually, very well placed. <laughs> very, very well placed mine field over here. It's going to say Minecraft. Um, yeah, what are we going to do here? Well, we could walk through. <laughs> um, not an option. Not an option. You know what? We can just go around. We can go around because that forest actually doesn't go that far. And hey, zombie dog, let's run you over. Was that Lady Sis? No, that was Chung. That was Chung with the bow. Nice. Lady Sis actually failed to penetrate. But then, uh, yeah, that was good. That was good. Nice work, Chung. Good kill. Unfortunately, we didn't... Uh, pulp it, but that's okay. That's alright. Nothing we can do about that. Alright, let's go right around. Dodge the mines. Okay, that's a worm, I think. And let's actually mark that. So it's like around here. We want to go minefield. We're going to mark it with a red, like a big red. Nice. Okay. Just so we know. We see that on the minimap, we'll, we'll know something's up at least. And there's another one there, but uh, not anything for us to worry about. Okay, got to be getting close now. And there's that turn off that we're after. So we're going to go ahead and take that one. That car's actually still running, surprisingly enough. So perhaps someone was here recently. Maybe. Alright, we're back up to 96. <laughs> Unsafe speeds for Cataclysm. Good speeds for recording, though. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What is it? Is it a hotel? It's a it's a motel. Okay. Well, let's get to work. Let's stop driving. We'll zoom back in here. Looks like he is immediately busy. No, no, do not dive from the moving vehicle. I thought we'd stopped. Okay. Let's make sure we've actually stopped. We've actually stopped for reals this time. Okay, alright, alright. Here we go. We've seen quite a few zombies. And this is Zombie Brute. Cool, where are you at? Where are you at? We definitely want to be taking down that Zombie Brute, but we're going to start to focus, first of all, on our friend over here, Mr. Tough Zombie. Okay, not bad. There we go. Lady Sis finishing him off. Excellent. All right, we've got a Shrieker coming for us. Here we go. All right. Okay. I don't want to hit them. That's uh, that's what I'm trying to avoid here. 
All right, watching out for the dog. Hot diggity dog. All right, Lady Sis is moving in. Oh, nice. Good one-two kind of combo there. Oh, corrosive zombie, where you at? Where are you at? We can see him marked on here somewhere, but I don't know where he is. Tough zombie. Corrosive zombie's up by the pool. Okay. All right. Don't go too far, people. Wow. I think that's the zombie Bruce in there. <laughs> Let's just move away. Let's move away for now. He'll find his way out eventually. Yep, sure enough, he has. Uh, who do we want to go for first? I think we want to try and take down that corrosive zombie because we know, we know what they're like. We don't want them getting anywhere near our friends. There we go. Good hit. Nearly. Acid sprays out as we hit him. One more. There we go. Die, you son of a bitch. Sorry, I just... I don't get along very well with them. <laughs> at all. In the slightest. Um, so we're just going to wait for him to smash his way out of here. So he's going to be making a lot of noise. Apologies. Stop aiming. No. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, right. Well, he made it there a little bit faster than I thought he was going to. We've taken one shot. Lady Sis has injured him. We fire again. We kill him. Okay, well, it sounds like there's still some more trouble here. <sighs> Let's see what we got, though. We'll take those. Come over here. Take those. The corrosive zombie. Do they smash him? Ah, oh, good. They wait. They're smart. They don't. They don't smash the corrosive zombie. That's that's clever. I'm glad because that would just be frustrating if they went and smashed him and, and died. God damn. Calm down. I just want to open the door and whatever's in here. Okay, tough zombie. We can handle that. Let's aim up. Okay. Oh, hey, zombie brute. Is he going to kind of try and come through the vehicle at us? Nope, he's going to go around. Okay, we'll get some distance. That's fine. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to have to take a, a dodgy shot, I think. Okay, not bad. So we'll be able to hit better this time. I'm going to hit Lady Sis if she moves in like that. Okay, yeah, she's moving in like that. Lady Sis, way to go. Damn. Excellent work. I'm, I'm impressed. Call me impressed. I mean, that was good. Very well done. Oh, she was wearing a leather corset and sneakers. All right. Okay. All good. Okay, well, with that being done, let's get ready to move in. I need to butcher this corrosive zombie, though, to make sure it does not come back. The last thing that we want. And we're going to go ahead and use that quiver, store some ammunition. What's in here? This could be an ambulance. Uh, no, but there's a Remington in here. Interesting. It's a security vehicle or SWAT team vehicle or something. Security van. That's the one. Okay, well, they really made a mess of this. Let's just keep on moving up here. Check out this motel, see what we've got going on. Okay. All right, so there is... Oh, there's another tough zombie inside. Okay. Lady says, hold... I wonder if I can shoot him through the glass. Ooh, I don't even need to. Lady Sis, finish job. Mutilates the tough zombie. There we go. Nice. But it did bite her leg. I think she's okay. She'll tell me if it was a bad bite or not. I think she's okay. Tin of beans. We'll not pass that up. Played enough Daisy to know that. Soy sauce. Nice. Um, I don't know if we want anything from these machines here. It might be worthwhile us getting, though, just for the drive back. Although, the drive back will be pretty... Uh, there won't be that much going on. Just because uh, the roads have kind of been cleared along the way. I don't think we're going to find anything amazing. I was just going to say, I don't think we're going to find anything amazing here. And a goddamn shocker zombie comes out of the woodworks at us. And, uh... It's gonna, it's gonna hit us pretty good with a bolt of electricity any moment now. God damn it, that gave me such a fright. Stop aiming. No. 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 We're still okay. No. 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 Let the cloud pass. Come on, pass. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna be able to aim. Okay, alright. Stop aiming. Sure, why not? Step out of the cloud if we can. God damn. 
we're not going to be able to aim very well at all. We're in a lot of pain after that. All right, okay. That was a grazing hit. It's not going to be too good. All right, he's in close, and he is a danger to Sis, especially if she's going to be hitting him with that. So we need to, to try and fire at him again. Okay, nice, not bad. Lady Sis guts the shocker zombie. How are you doing there? Examine your wounds. Okay, she's all right. And Chung, you're doing okay? You haven't got any strange wounds or anything like that? Oh, his left arm and his right arm are a little damaged. He's doing okay, though. All right. Well, let's go ahead and butcher him, because there's a chance he could have some CBMs. And we'll just do that. Save. Integrated tool set, which we've already got. So we won't worry about that. And we'll leave the tainted meat as well. We don't need any more right now. Okay. Well, I don't think there is going to be anything incredible here. I think we might just move on to the town just to have a kind of a little bit of a quick peek, see what's going on. Um, that pain though is pretty extreme, so let's go ahead and have some codeine and grab some blueberries. And we'll have some of those. Some nice fresh blueberries. Although as you can see, there weren't many there. So I think if we harvested now back at home, we still wouldn't get like a full harvest. Okay, everyone jump back on board the wagon. We'll get on moving. We are tired now, so we need to be wary of that. Don't want to push ourselves too far. We know what happens when uh, we're too tired. Well, actually, that was unique to Elliot, him falling asleep at the wheel. Um, he wasn't actually that tired. It was just because of his, uh, well, it was, it was to do with his schizophrenia, I think. That's the reason why he did. Uh, we're just going to drive straight past them. We're not going to concern ourselves, although we will have a quick look at what's on the ground. Okay, no. Nothing we need. But we have officially reached Edgar Town, And Edgar Town does seem to have its fair share of zombies. Holy crap, yep, it sure does. As we can see, there are a large number of them here. And Edgar Town does really seem to um, split off into a number of other towns. I would love to see what's at the end of this road here. Um, I'm just curious as to see what's there. But um, I, think, I think this has been a nice little exploration. But I think we are going to start heading on back. I know we've come like a long, long way. But we are going to start driving back. And yeah. I just think it's going to be safer. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We need to do a quick turn. All right. Zombie Hulk, get away from it. Is that is that the zombie wrestler over there? Oh my god. It's so cute. It's like a mini Hulk. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's adorable. Oh dear. It looks tiny in comparison. Oh, that's cute. But I'm sure it could do some pretty damage, pretty good damage to us. Um, I haven't seen that before. That's uh, that's new. Let's rock on past them. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be stepping on the gas here to make it back home, so that we don't get too tired along the way. Holy shit! Who the hell is that? And why did I not see them sooner? They're very close to us now. Who the hell is that? Gwen Radford, carrying a crossbow. Hello? Can I, I... I don't want to call out because time will pass while we're moving here, so I kind of need to just try and stop. Um, I don't want to kill them as well by sliding into them here. Camera's like very, very much off center. Okay, keep your distance. Uh, okay, so this could go bad because we're actually quite close here and we're driving past. Um, we actually do still have our weapon in our hands. We could just put away our weapon for now. Okay. Gwen is actually willing to talk. Gwen says hello there. Um, okay. Who is Gwen? Is Gwen someone that we could bring home with us? Maybe. Let's have a let's have a look at Gwen. Trench coat, polo shirt. Okay. Baseball cap. Alright, let's uh try and size them up. Pretty damn strong. Damn. Check opinion. How can we do that? How can we see that on them? Hmm. Values your presence. Untrusting. Okay. Let's see. What are you doing? Collecting gear and selling it. A trader then. I see. Okay. Well, do you care to trade? We are still, like, on the move though, so we need to be very careful about this. How much of a conversation we have. Feels less threatened by us. Okay, well that's okay. Let's call back out to Gwen. And say, perhaps, another survivor. We should travel together. 
Oh, we don't have a great chance to persuade her here, but we will try. I can keep you safe. Oh, we succeeded. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can make this work. We'll try and stop the vehicle. Uh, what are you going to do? How are, are you going to try and get on at all? Um, I wonder if I could attempt to make a seat. Just even if just a temporary seat. Not That's not going to be an easy task though, really. I don't want to be abandoning Bogart door here. Um, so let's go over to where this is. Install. Can I install a chair or a seat? Because, okay, here's the thing. I could just take a seat off another car and then put it on here. So let's see if I can just go ahead and remove this box. That should be easy enough for us to do. Yep, we can. So we'll do that. And then we will just uh, move the box. Oh god, it's so heavy. Uh, wear the bow for now. And go ahead, drop that over here. That was ridiculously heavy. Okay, and so we'll just talk to Gwen for a second here. Um, actually, let's say, let's see. Uh, let's, we want to know a little bit more about them. Okay, pretty fresh. Actually just good at bartering, so literally just a trader. Interesting. Okay, but we'll see if we can get Gwen back home. We'll see if we can save Gwen here, but I'm going to have to ask Gwen very nicely to just guard this position for a second. See you around. We're going to be back in just a moment, Gwen. Don't you worry. We're not abandoning you, I promise. We are going to be coming back. We just need to find a vehicle so we can chuck a seat on this thing. Okay. Now, I know I saw like 100 vehicles along the way, so hopefully we do see another one of those before too long. Oh, we're going to have to go around? Shit. Okay. Oh, the hotel. The hotel. Hotel, motel, botel. We're going to go there. Just go across the field. Traveling 80 in the field. Probably not the best idea. He says as something bad happens. No, it's okay. Okay, uh, but I do need to slow down here because I need to decide which way we're going to go. We're going to go around it like this. Okay. Oh, hello. Antlet horror. Avoid it. And keep on moving. Okay, hi, you guys are new, you weren't here before. Uh, let's ram them. Oh god, let's not. Oh wow, that was badass. Lady Sis, good job. But can we stop in time here? Mm, we had a little bit of... Uh, we, we, is this a little, a little touch? A little touch that we did there? Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Okay, so, Zombier is coming towards us. Zombier has been injured by Lady Sis as we drove past. It's only lightly injured. We have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with one before. Let's see if we can get that reflex bow out in time and get a shot off here. We might just be able to, and sure enough, grazing hit. That's better. I think we may have actually... No? No? Yeah, we hit Lady Sis. I'm sorry, Lady Sis. That was irresponsible of me. There we go. Are you okay? Yes, you're all right. You're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to pull through. It's all right. Everybody's okay. That's the main thing. All right. Don't know where the other fat zombie went. Oh, it's dealing with the uh, blob. That's okay. That works out for us. Let's go ahead and grab the reclining seat. So we're going to go ahead and go remove. And we, may, we want to grab the seat belt as well. Definitely. Uh, what are we missing? Attack. Oh, the seatbelt we need to remove first. Um, that's something we should be trying to do. Remove more seatbelts because... Uh, stop interacting. No. Oh, well, they, they dealt with them very, very quickly. Quite efficiently. Nicely done. Yeah, good work. All right, so these two over here. Let's grab the short rope and the seat. Fantastic. Come back across to our vehicle. Examine. And we want to go ahead and install them right here. So, reclining seat. Actually, let's just go straight up seat. It doesn't need to recline. This one on the back. Okay, and we want to install a seat belt on there. There we go. Done. Excellent. Okay, all right, let's jump back into the vehicle. Um, hope that everything is still okay. I, it, it seems to be fine right now. Everything's, everything's going okay with the vehicle. We just need to try and turn ourselves around. Easy as pie. Okay, and we're going to make our way back across to the other side here. Let's see if we can find exactly where she was. Um, yeah. We know she's along that stretch of road, so we will be able to find her. Outlet Horror, you better not follow us. 
It's gonna follow us for a decent while here. Okay, so she's south from here, I'm pretty sure. There we go. All right, let's, let's just ease the speed back before we do any kind of handbrake turns. Pull the handbrake. Let's call out. Gwyn, I need you to come with us. Let's go. Jump on. Okay, here we go. Look at this. All right, well, I hope you're ready. Because we have got a ways to go. And so we're going to start shooting on back towards the mansion. I feel like uh, I feel like it's been a profitable trip for us. We've got some pretty ridiculously awesome ammunition out of this. We've brought another one another person back with us, a trader, who might be able to teach us a thing or two about trading. We definitely want to be going around that minefield, and I really need to be stepping back our speed, because we're actually going over the safe limit. And we don't want to be driving around here at that kind of speed, especially when there's mounds in the ground. Okay, nice. Good dodging by Dusk. What is her driving now? Six. She's actually a really decent driver. Um, yeah, very, very good. Probably the best, uh, that's the best level I've had on a character. <laughs> so that's saying something. I guess usually they die before they get to that point from driving. Um, we need to be going around this. Okay, good. Did I see that? Did I mark it? I didn't. I didn't mark it on the map. <laughs> Not that I think I would have seen it anyway. Um, I probably would have, probably would have missed that. All right, stepping it up again. The rain is pouring down, and it's actually going to be pouring down right on us as well, because uh, we don't have any roofs in here. Actually, we did. We do have a roof on the back, so yeah. Hmm. We're actually be okay. The clothing is not providing enough protection from the wind to your mouth, so yeah, all of our bits and pieces are going to start to feel. Whoa! Our mouth is freezing cold. Holy crap! Because we are going so fast, it's wind chill that's doing it. Um, that is uh, some extreme wind chill, though. Holy crap. So the others will be feeling that as well, no doubt. So I kind of want to make this fast, but it being fast is also the problem. At least it's kind of slowed. It's not raining as heavily now. I apologize for all the clicking and clacking you will have heard this episode as well. It is a very clicky clacky episode. Just uh, driving is always that way. And I I would never, ever, ever recommend you to drive this way unless your character has the driving skill that Dusk now has because it's completely irresponsible and your game can end very, very quickly. Um, yeah, I know. And the saying that I am being very, very hypocritical. All right, so how did I go around here before? I must, yeah, we just went through here, right? Just uh, thread the needle. And that zombie is probably still around here as well. Yep. There it is. And we still touch the side, even though I was being careful. But we still have uh, three companions with us. So that means that everything's working. Okay. Hello, tank. Alright. Well, we can see that we've made it a decent distance, but we still have a ways to go. Because we are so damn far from home. So this is why I think later on... Um, the idea of using uh, river craft can be really good for traveling those long distances because obviously it's just a straight shot and uh, rivers don't go forever but they go at really decent length um, actually you know what in saying that I haven't seen too many rivers end in this game so they could serve as a really good highway if you had a speedboat like if you you know that would be a good way to travel a really long distance in the game would be good fun I've, I really have always wanted to do a character that just travels, you know, in one direction as their goal. Just to, you know, push the length of the map as kind of long as you can. Just heading east, like trying to find the coast or something. Yeah. Somewhere like that. Okay, well... That's it, pretty much. We're just going to be driving back. I don't I don't foresee us running into any trouble here. There are Migos along the way, but beyond that, there really isn't much else that we've seen that could uh, cause us any real threat. Other than potential driving mistakes made along the way. And I can... I, I know that I am tired, but not too tired. I'm actually just going to drop the speed back a little bit here, because I do want to have a, a, a sip of something while we're driving. There we go. 
Okay, because it does take that into account when you're eating or drinking or you're driving the time it takes to actually drink it. So, yeah, there's dermatic larvae back there. That's not cool. Dermatics are not nice, especially the larvae. Okay, hello, lady sis. Nice, not bad. And the grim howler actually tried to attack her, but uh, she dodged. She's a bit of a she's a bit of a beast, and we've got two migos. We know that they're quite cowardly, so. It's not going to be worth us trying to chase them down. Okay, we don't want to go hitting any cars. Back by the solar car. And we're pretty much on the home stretch now. Um, well, at least to kind of get back towards Carthage. Yeah, nearly there. Should be coming up on the uh, roadblock. Another one of the many crash sites that we've seen along the way. Here we go. Crash site. Okay, let's not go into the water. There we go. Oh, nearly. Very, very nearly. God damn. Okay. I know many of you have probably had multiple heart attacks throughout this episode just because of how I'm driving, especially those of you who play Cataclysm a lot. Yeah. It, 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 it hasn't been the most responsible, I'll be honest. Okay, all right. We need to step things back here. Because uh, that's a lot of beavers and ducks. You want to get out of the way, buddy? There we go. There we go. Yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll drive slowly across the bridge here. Do not want to end up in the water. Nice. Okay, all right. Now, checking the map. It should be a pretty much a pretty easy trip home. So I'm going to start speeding things up again a little bit we're on 7 30 p.m so we are going to start losing the sunlight now but um oh god oh god oh god we need to drive fast oh shoot that was close lady sis that was awesome taking a strike at the zombie but uh zombie hulk could knock us out of the vehicle and if we get knocked out while we're going at ooh, 96 kilometers an hour that's pretty much an assured death so um yeah this last thing that we want to happen we need to get off-road now. Alright. Avoiding the minefield, of course. And just kind of skirting around the edge of the town. Alright. 64 kilometers. Probably a bit too fast to be driving through the fields. We did collide there with a bush, but it didn't actually do too much damage to us. So that's uh, it's good. It's good, good. Probably just going to drive straight down here until we get in line. Now, now that I've said that, I'm going to go for somewhere where I know I can kind of drive through. I was just going to try and travel at a right angle, but kind of impossible with all the bushes. No easy way to do that, unless we make roads of our own. And that's something that I have done before um, in previous games. I've used a truck to kind of cut a way through a forest, and that's been how I've made a path that I've kind of used on, on a number of occasions. And it's it's a technique I'd, I'd recommend. It can really speed up your journey. If there is a forest between you and somewhere that you're visiting a lot, it's worthwhile. Consider making a road. And that road is just clearing the path, you know, getting rid of everything that's in the way, the bushes, the trees. I mean, you can chop down the trees one by one, but that is a, a slow way to do it, that's for sure. It'll take a lot of time. That way you can just burn it down. That's a... Uh, a little bit more dangerous. You need to be very mindful of where your fires are going, but uh, fire is a tool that can be used in this as well. And just like that, the mansion is back in sight. I'm sure it's probably quite the sight. Um, I know some of you are saying it, the NPCs were probably had quite the reaction. Um, God damn, the handbrake turn just like slides forever now. Um, yeah, our friends would have had quite the reaction coming along and just seeing the tank parked outside. It's a pretty decent sight. Okay, we're just trying to line up here a little bit. Trying. Okay. Let's get this thing reversing. Uh, need to reverse over just one more. No, I've come too far. I was actually fine before. There we go. No, 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 no. That will not do. Speed up. Get away. Do not hit the wall. Okay. We do not want to be doing that kind of damage to the house. There we go. All right. 
No. Why are we turning? There we go. Just straight. Straight on back. There we go. Oh, we made it. We made it back inside. We're going to stop driving. We are going to close this thing up. And, uh, actually, we'll turn off the headlights. Didn't even realize they've been on the whole time. That is my mistake. We are lacking in, pre in perception at the moment. Funnily enough. I'm um, imagining that was because of, uh, outside just being blinded by the sun. Possibly could have been what it is. Um, so obviously we have a few things that we need to carry back inside here. But, guys and gals, I'm gonna do that between episodes. I'm gonna change things around a little bit here. Um, Charlotte, you can now join us. Everyone's back together. We've got a whole big group of NPCs now. Um, there are five of us in total. Um, where, where is... There you are. Well, come on in, Gwen. Say hello. Um, I should actually ask her to, um, yes, look at that save file now. It is, uh, it's certainly larger, to say the least. That is quite the map, quite the map size. Uh, but luckily, it doesn't do that too often, so, yeah, I'm okay with that. We're gonna go ahead, close it up, and just a quick word to Gwen. We're gonna ask her very nicely. No, not what I wanted you to do. Miscellaneous rules. There we go. Uh, let's see. Close the doors, if you can. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Well, it was a road trip at that. It was a very, very big road trip. We really, uh, we went some distance there. I think that's actually the furthest I've traveled, um, along a road like that. Also just because of, like, how far apart the cities are. Um, because the towns, the cities, are that much further apart. You know, we do have these long stretches between them. But I kind of like that. You know, I like that for the road trip aspect of it. And, um... Yeah, who knows, it might end up bloating like crazy eventually, but um, we'll work with it, we'll work with it for sure. But guys and gals, that has been today's episode. Now unfortunately this week we will only have two episodes of Cataclysm. I have a day less that I can work on these unfortunately, and I had a lot of trouble this morning just getting some of the recording software working. But at least we will have two, so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and there will be one more before the week is done. I'll see you then, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.